Hour countdown to the 2013 season here on the Night Sports Network begins with a look at Media Day. Fresh off its 14-1 campaign from a year ago, the Black Knights have had a summer of preparation leading up to the first day of practice earlier in the week. Among those returning for a final year in the orange and black is senior defensive back Chris Cheek, who came up big a lot in 2012, including against Mount Tabor, where he had a huge pick six. I mean, we've just been working really hard, hitting the weight room really hard this summer, and practice this week's been going really well. A lot of intensity from the team. They're ready to go. We're just ready to start playing. And number 34 knows what is expected. we got to step up as seniors and be leaders. Last year we had the senior leaders and now it's our turn to be leaders and we just got to lead this team to another great season. Two other familiar faces will be back up front defensively. Senior Hunter Gooding and junior Shy Tuttle. They too were pleased with the offseason. Everyone was working hard and pushing each other to get better. Last year, you know, we had a goal of winning the conference championship. This year, I believe our goal is to win the state championship. You know, we've been working really hard over the summer and whatnot to get there. And uh, like Shaw says, you know, just hard work. Senior linebacker Mason Hicks also returns in 2013. We're uh, expecting nothing less than a ring. We're really excited. We all worked hard this summer. I really think we have a good shot at it. There's two extra steps that we take when we're running and just working harder and not giving up. And we caught up with senior wideout and last year's leading receiver Jordan Santana, who agrees there is still some un finished business. We try hard, we work hard on the offense, every day we're getting after it. Every year we, we push ourselves to work harder, we try to get better, we push ourselves to a limit, and we're going to try to see the goal we want this year, and then that's to go to the state championship and get our ring. The offense will be without both of last year's quarterbacks, including Chase Mitchell, who Jordan had a lot of chemistry with. We always, during practice, we would always give around, throw the ball to each other, just practice on around, and in the game we just connect. He knew where to hit me, it was on target. And this year's quarterback, we're hoping we can do the same thing with him. 2012 CPC Coach of the Year Mark Holcomb knows what the day means and where it all fits in. Our kids are excited and they're happy to be here. And they like media. They like, they like putting their jerseys on and getting their pictures made. And I think it makes them feel special. Some of them, you know, we do the groups. And, and a lot of the seniors know this is their last media day, picture day. So uh, it, it's a little mixed emotions for them and their parents. But it does get us one day closer to getting all the pads on and getting to hit a little bit. And, uh, and also our ultimate goal, getting better at our images and, and getting that first date against Thomas for the 23rd. Coach also says the progression of his team is right on schedule. It's been a very good pace. It takes us a couple of days to teach our young kids the pace at which we want to practice, but they've done well and picked it up quickly, and so practice has gone uh, really well. we got our special teams in. we got one special team left to put in on Monday. Pretty much defense and offense, everything else is in. We're just trying now to refine everything and kind of figure out what we're good at and what we're not so successful at right now and throw that away. The Knights are set to host Thomasville in just 19 days, and you can hear all the action live beginning at 6 o'clock with the DRS Discount Sales Tailgate Show on the Knights Sports Network from IrndSports.com.